and each and every science looking at eutrophication. So science understanding, uh, excess nitrogen and phosphorus can be leached from soils and can cause eutrophication in water bodies, explain the process and consequences of eutrophication. So let's first talk about leaching. So leaching is where water soluble nutrients uh, leave soils and go into groundwater. Once they go into groundwater, that groundwater flows um, towards uh, rivers, streams, lakes and so on, and that groundwater contains the nutrients that weren't held by the soil. Um, so that leaching of uh, those nutrients into waterways leads to eutrophication. Here we can see with the nitrogen cycle, we've got nitrates being produced down here. Um, those nitrates, if they're not being used by plants, um, they don't hang around in the soils, they get washed away with the groundwater and they flow through the, with the groundwater to lakes and streams and so on. And that can lead to eutrophication. Same thing happens with phosphorus. Um, if you add phosphorus to soils as fertilizer, if the soil doesn't if plants don't use all the phosphorus, it doesn't hang around in the soil, it washes away. So let's talk about eutrophication. So having these excess nitrates and phosphates flowing through the groundwater to lakes, streams and ponds, um, that leads to a build-up of these in waterways. And these are fertilizers for plants, but they're also fertilizers um, for algae. So you get a big growth, a big increase in the growth of algae in your um, stream, and that leads to an algal bloom. So an algal bloom uh, looks like this. So it's a bit up of this green algae on the surface of the water. Now, algal blooms aren't good because um, you get your eutrophication happening. What happens is the algae, they block out the sunlight. So sunlight can't reach deeper into the waterways, and that means any plants that are photosynthesizing down the bottom of the waterway can't do that anymore. If they're not photosynthesizing, they're not producing oxygen, and that reduces the amount of oxygen available in the waterway. Now, if there's not enough oxygen in the waterway, the organisms in the waterway die. So things like fish, they need oxygen, they get that through their gills, so that's dissolved oxygen in the water. If you don't have that, and that's not being produced by photosynthesis, then you're reducing the amount of oxygen and then the organisms die. As the organisms die, they break down themselves, and they break down initially aerobically, so that means there's lots of oxygen available, so they break down into the aerobic decay products. But you run out of oxygen pretty quickly, so you get anaerobic decay products. Things like hydrogen sulfide, which is what, neg gas, ammonia, which is quite smelly and toxic, uh, methane, which is uh, global warming gas. So all of these things aren't great. So the decay of those organisms reduces the amount of oxygen available in the water, which leads to other organisms dying, which leads to more decay. And that's what eutrophication is. So here's another way of looking at it. So here we have our fertilizers. Um, if the fertilizers aren't being used by the plants, they go into the groundwater. That groundwater makes its way into uh, lakes, streams, ponds, um, rivers. Uh, increased nutrient load means you get more algae growing, so here you can see the algae growing. That algal growth shades um, other plants underneath that then die off. Because they die off, they're not undergoing photosynthesis, which means there's not um, much oxygen going into the water. That lack of oxygen leads to other organisms dying as well, because they need oxygen to live. So here's a question, it says, describe the potential environmental consequences of adding sodium tripolyphosphate to commercial detergent formulations. You should recognize that this has phosphorus in it. Now, phosphorus is one of those elements that plants need to grow, but also algae need to grow. So by having phosphorus in commercial detergents, um, when you wash away your wastewater from using your detergent, that will eventually make its way into a waterway. If you have extra phosphorus, you'll increase the amount of growth of algae if conditions are right. There is algae can block off the sunlight in that waterway, which reduces the amount of photosynthesis occurring in plants underneath the algae. Um, that reduces the amount of oxygen available inside the waterway. The reduction in oxygen kills off organisms and leads to anaerobic decay of the organisms present in the waterway. So that's for science. We looked at eutrophication. That's it for science today. See ya. <laughs>